paint is one of the quickest and cheapest ways to make over a room and stay up with the latest trends as well, but it's a good idea to have a game plan absolutely before you begin. Or it could be a complete disaster. Interior designer Murray Flanagan, she's back with more ideas and an easy demo to help us transform our spaces. We're specifically talking about plaster and we'll get to whitewashing and lime washing and all kinds of stuff I don't understand. <laughs> okay, so why don't we start with plaster, right? Because this beautiful piece uh, is, is plaster, right? That's right, and plaster is a finish that we're using more and more all over the home. It gives it, it gives your paint color a little bit more depth and also texture and the variety of textures you can use from a rough trowel to a really smooth Venetian plaster with a high gloss are really endless. And here, what you just pointed out is a floral motif that we worked with Segreto to uh, develop for a master bathroom. And if so, someone, sorry, Courtney, go ahead. This would actually be on the wall. I mean, it looks like a piece of art. And so this is what you're actually going to paint. That's right? right. That's right. It is like a sculptural piece of art for the wall. It's unbelievable. And just to be clear, I'm, I'm not, I mean, this is not the DIY version, right? This is something that you would hire someone to come in and do. We'll get to the DIY in just a minute. But in the meantime, sure. we have some beautiful uh, photos of how, how it's applied. This is this is a plaster application, Marie? Yes, and like I was saying before, you can do a more high gloss Venetian plaster, or this is what's called a diamond plaster, which just has a little bit of sheen to it. But we're using plaster in so many different applications, not just the walls. Um, they've developed different products because of plaster's durability. As you can see, we've used it on hoods. Wow. Um, but we're also using it on countertops in bathrooms instead of using tile. They've developed what's called a tadlac, which is an actually an ancient Greek um, technique. But basically, it's as hard as concrete, if not harder. Um, but it creates this beautiful, simplistic look to your shower, and you have no grout lines. Unbelievable. And we were just looking at that uh, staircase as well that we just saw. Is that what we were? Was that plaster on it? On the. So no, the okay, I guess that was something else. was um, what's called a slurry or okay. a mortar wash, which is very popular right now. You're seeing it a lot on exteriors of homes. People who are sick of the brick that they have on their home or they're sick of the color and they just really want an update, they want to refresh it. So, and I have an example down here. Okay. Of a slurried brick. But it's basically just a mortar wash that you add on top of the brick. Oh, interesting. And so it really renders the texture of the brick much more subtle. And I know we have very bright lights in this studio, but now I think people can see the texture a little better. And there's really a diff... There's, obviously, we covered the entire brick in this application, but you can let some of the red show through. Um, for people who just want, you know, an update on their fireplace mm -hmm. or a brick wall in your home, even on stone, slurry is a great application. Now, slurry is something that I would hire a professional for because of the s number of steps and the drying process. Um, Look what a dramatic difference that is before and after, though. Yeah, especially to give it a little bit more contemporary feel. Again, it softens the brick, makes it look a little bit more pillowed. Um, it's just a clean, really beautiful look. And Let's bring out, sorry, Johnny Martyr, um, because he's going to show us a little bit of a demo Hi, Johnny. Yeah, in case Hi, someone Hi. wants to try this at home. Yeah, absolutely. We have a quick little demo here for you guys. And what he's demoing is a lime wash, which is much more of a DIY that you could even pick up this type of product at Home Depot. Okay. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a lime wash over a brick. Okay. And anybody can pretty much do it at home. It's a simple process, and we're going to show you how to do it today. So when you say lime wash, this is the product that we buy already? That's correct. Okay. So we have diluted it. It comes in a concentrated bucket. We have already diluted it for you guys today, and it's usually a 50-50 mix, mm -hmm. depending on how thick or how thin you want it. Okay. And the lime wash, like, where would someone buy this if they're looking for it at their local this hardware store? This specific one you can buy at Home Depot. Okay. Something like a slurry. They're, it's actually a European... Uh, brand, so that's when you call us. Okay, okay. we'll All get right, started. So, yes, absolutely. So what you want to do is apply an even coat throughout the entire brick. And depending on your coverage uh, desires, ahead. I mean, someone could apply multiple coats, or are you starting with just a thin coat? I would start off with a thin coat, and then apply more and more as nice. the brick shows. Okay. And we have a, a uh, sample that we did out here about 30, 40 minutes ago, and okay. we'll show you a finished product. Okay, we'll pull here out we the go. finished product here. 
Okay, so this is it. Clearly, I mean, oh. that's, a, that's a quick and easy face lift. So the lime wash is what we would ask for when we head to Home Depot then. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And it's an all-natural okay. product. I and love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's right, no VOCs. And you can really dilute this product and make it as strong or as weak as you'd like. Okay, okay. we're going to check back in right after this. A reminder, if you want to connect with Marie or to learn more about Segreto finishes, you can visit the links right there on your screen. We'll be right back.